Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Pastor Mike, Chef Mike, Dr. Mike, whatever you want to call me, man. If not your ordinary vegan, listen, I'm excited again for you guys to join us for our podcast. We love the opportunity to be able to speak to you guys so that you hear our hearts. Man, the cafe has been doing amazing, even in spite of a pandemic. But with the curbside service, we're not able to interact with you guys the way we like to, man. So we miss y'all. We want to see y'all and be able to talk to you longer. Uh, but we want to thank everybody who continues to frequent the cafe. Thanks. They went to thank you now. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the grateful cow. Uh, man, we're just so grateful to be able to serve you guys. We really uh, have a heart, man. It's a passion to continue to show the city what it means to be vegan. But listen, what I want to do today, man, if you guys have been looking at our page, if you've been looking at our Facebook page, you've seen the question. The question that we pose to everybody is, would you rather, would you rather have a burrito bowl or would you rather have a salad? A burrito bowl or a salad? Man, I think that this is a great question because it gives us an opportunity to speak to what I want to speak to tonight. And that is the creativity, the creativity that comes into being a vegan. Many people think that being a vegan is boring that you have to eat the same thing all the time but let me show you something that I realized I found out that most meat eaters uh, on average eat about five meals only five meals yeah, true. The research shows, man, that on average, most meat eaters eat about five meals. Most people cook for their family Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then eat out on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so really, there's only about five meals in there that they're alternating. You know, uh, we do spaghetti on Monday. Taco Tuesday, we for you. Uh, hamburgers on Wednesday, whatever on Thursday, Friday. It's the same thing over and over again. So really, you don't know it because you've been raised that way. But most meat eaters, uh, eating life is boring. I mean, for real, man, a snooze fest. But for those of us who are vegans, and you understand that there's so much creativity in being a vegan. So that brings us to would you rather? Rather you would have a burrito bowl or you'd rather have a salad. Either way, man, it's so much uh, variety. Randy, there's too many choices here. Everything looks so delicious. Look at a burrito bowl. There's so many different vegetable combinations that you can put together uh, in a burrito bowl, man. So many different vegetables, legumes, grains that you can put together, man. You can eat different every day. And when it comes to a salad, there's so many different ways that you can eat a salad. So many different uh, types of lettuce, types of tomatoes, fruit you can add in. Uh, you can make a vinaigrette out of anything. So the taste of the salad can be different every day, man. I like burrito bowls, but I love salads. Hey, I'm a preacher at heart. So let me show you this. Even in the beginning of the Bible, we see this. The first words, in the beginning, God created, right? Right? So the first five words of the Bible, uh, it talks about the creativity of God. The creativity of God shows up uh, in his creation, right? And in God's creation, we find that there's so many, a plethora of different fruits and vegetables that we can eat, man. Altogether, there are over 100 different kinds of fruits. Here's a list of some fruits you may have heard or tried. Apple, apricot, avocado, banana, blackberry, blueberry, clementine, cherry, cranberry, coconut, dates, elderberry, fig, grape, grapefruit, lemon, lime, mango, nectarine, olive, orange, papaya, peach, pear, pineapple, plum, raspberry, strawberry, tangerine, watermelon. And so what I want you to do is, again, whether you have a burrito bowl or a salad, I want you to tap into the creativity, the creativity that God has put inside you. Use your imagination. Enjoy your food because really... We're trying to no longer live to eat, but instead eat to live. So be creative. Try different combinations. It's amazing how this lettuce uh, tastes with this type of tomato or how the salad changes when you add uh, strawberries or raisins or pineapples. Uh, so do me a favor and just go crazy. Nah, a salad! I said a salad! What kind of bread? No bread! Just vegetables in a bowl! Wow! So it's only vegetables? Yes. As a matter of fact, I think that's what we may do. We may do an ebook, an ebook, cheap, $1.99 or something ebook that has just the endless possibilities of burrito bowls and salads. Where we just do a book of all different types of salads and burrito bowls. We may even uh, reach out to you guys and throw some of your recipes in the book if you'll be willing to let us do that. But again, man, we don't want to keep you long today. It's just your friends from Not Your Ordinary Vegan Cafe just trying to give you a little inspiration 
preparation. When you're when you're cooking uh, your burrito bowls or your salads or whatever your vegan meal is, we want you to be creative. Try different things. Figure out different tastes. Let your taste buds go crazy with all the different flavors. Uh, speaking of that, this weekend, man, we got our amazing new and improved uh, lasagna recipe. Gluten-free lasagna, man, is going to make your mouth water with our version of the Lexingtonian salad. Shout out to Malone's. They're a steakhouse. We used to love their salads, uh, but we kind of put a twist, a twist on the Lexingtonian salad. So come to Natural Ordinary Vegan, get the special this week, which is the lasagna, and it comes with a, a Lexingtonian salad. So again, listen, we can't wait to see you, and I want you to remember, there's nothing ordinary about you. God created you to be extraordinary. Peace. We love you.